All right, I just want to touch on Wizards on the Coast and their latest price increase due to inflation and the impact that it's going to have on the secondary market. So you can see here I set up this prop for everybody. I had to borrow that from my kitchen to make my little station here. Now this isn't exactly the scale as you can see because you can definitely get some of these boxes for less than $200. So right here I have these are little uh, shit bags for when my sister's dog comes here and you know I have to help out. Well this represents inflation. Now, as you can see here, it has an uplifting effect, raising the price of everything that came behind it. It's almost like that old saying, shit rolls downhill. But this price rise is going to trickle down to the sets of the past. And it takes some time for the market to realize this. And that's one of the things I do here. I look for opportunity and market anomalies. And just sometimes things don't add up. Now, you could argue that Wizards is being greedy or they could have ate more of the cost. But that's irrelevant for what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to show you the impact the inflation will have on previous sets. Now I've taken some flack in some previous videos. Sometimes people get upset that I like to wear pajamas when I'm walking around my cat's house. And somebody told me to get a job. They must have came from money or something because I had to buy all this stuff usually off eBay or somewhere on the secondary market. Now I basically shotgun blasted $100,000 in the last two and a half months on various card games. And I wouldn't have done that unless I had some sort of basic understanding of economics and the ebbs and flows in the market. All right, so just to touch again, you know, I'm looking for anomalies in the market. Now this isn't a bang buster opportunity, but there's certainly some opportunity with previous sets right now.